Janish 700, which has been developed as the first indigenous turbofan engine in the fourth generation engine class, is a two-axle turbofan engine that can be installed on all types of manned and unmanned flying units and has 700 kg thrust and can be installed on planes with up to 4,000 kg. The engine incorporates cutting-edge single crystal blades technology and weighs about 140 kg. Jahish 700 is modular, has an advanced electronic control system, very long TBO, time between overhaul, and very low fuel consumption, which gives the long flight endurance to Iranian drones. This engine uses indigenous super alloys for hot engine parts and other light alloys of air engines. If equal to the same foreign models, the fuel consumption of Jahish 700 is about 13.77 grams per second to produce 1 kilowatt of power. On August 22, the Iranian media once again released a batch of pictures of Iran's latest Jahish 700, FiU 700, small turbofan engine. It is reported that the engine was made public for the first time on Iran's National Industry Day two days ago. Its thrust is said to reach 700 kgf, about 6.8 km, and it can be equipped with a 4-ton small aircraft or a large drone. Regarding the development of this engine, the Iranians generously admit that it is a reverse copycat product, and the copy target is the FJ-33 civil turbofan engine of the U.S. Williams International Company. FJ-33 small turbofan engine is a power product for light and ultralight business jets launched by Williams International in 1998. It was famous in the 1990s. Based on the development of the FJ-44 turbofan engine, the thrust is mainly reduced. This engine has a dry weight of only 140 kilograms, a length of 1.22 meters, and a diameter of 530 millimeters. The structure is mainly composed of a fan, a compressor, a combustion chamber and a turbine. Among them, the compressor is composed of a multi-stage low-pressure compressor at the front and a centrifugal high-pressure compressor at the middle. This centrifugal high-pressure compressor has the advantages of simple structure and wide stable working range, so its use can reduce the overall engine the increase in weight and reliability has brought benefits. And the combustion chamber of the engine uses an annular combustion chamber. Compared with a simple single-tube combustion chamber, the annular combustion chamber improves the fuel combustion efficiency. At the same time, the length of the combustion chamber is greatly shortened, which provides conditions for the overall reduction in size and weight of the engine. It is precisely because of these design considerations that the FJ-33 can provide good thrust and fuel economy in a small size. According to the data of Williams International, the static thrust of FJ-33 is between 4.4 kN and 8 kN. When maintaining a thrust of 5.3 kN, the unit fuel consumption is 13.8 grams NAS. A single FJ-33 can support ultralight aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight of 2 tons, and two units can support light aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight of 4 tons. For Iranians, although the FJ-33 is just a small turbofan engine with a simple structure, the difficulty of reverse imitation is not small. This involves understanding of the overall structure and design of the engine, material smelting and processing of fan and turbine single crystal blades, control system and engine debugging, etc. As Iran did not have complete turbofan engine research and development experience before, only the J-85 turbojet engine used by the US-made F-5 fighter jet among its opponents was overhauled, Iran has also introduced a copy of the J-85 Oj turbojet engine, but the outside world still believes that it is the assembly and repair of the old J-85, so it is admirable to be able to imitate this FiU 700 turbofan engine. Regarding the use of the FiU 700 turbofan engine, according to some information published by the Iranians, it is likely to be used on Iran's domestically made flying wing large drone. In the past, 
the Iranians have continuously launched a number of flying wing drones through research and capture of the U.S. military ARC U-170 drones, but they are all medium-sized drones such as Witness 181 and 191, although large drones there is also a Witness 171, but there has been no information that has been put into use. Outsiders speculate that it may be a drag on the power problem. And if Fu 700 can be used maturely, the heart disease problem of the machine may be solved. Of course, the reliability and true technical level of the Fu 700 engine will take time to verify. It will take a lot of energy from Iranians to actually put it into use. However, the development and manufacturing of this engine involves a lot of technology and craftsmanship. If the Iranians can really nibble it down, I believe it can also play a leading and promoting role for the development of aero engines in the future.